Hey guys, uh, Travis here at Soap Climbing. Uh, I wanted to show you how to make holds. Uh, a lot of you know how, and I'm just figuring it out. But I'm gonna share some tips that I've gotten from some of our followers, um, and hopefully it, it's, it helps you make better, better types of holds, as well as uh, bigger holds. A lot of guys are able to make really small, uh, crimpy holds, but as far as a jug, it seems to be uh, harder. So that's what we're gonna go through today. We'll start with just a, a simple screw on, and then we'll move to a laminated jug. So hope you have some time, and let's get started. So to get started, I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of wood to do one of these little screw ons. And so what I have here is just a piece of scrap. Uh, it's very skinny, which makes it nice to, to be able to screw onto it and spin the material while I'm sanding. So I have this one that's specifically for these little screw ones, and then these when I make a bolt on, this one for a, a bolt on hold. So let's get started. Okay. So once you have, uh, say, your general shape, uh, so just to be clear, I'm not really good at shaping, that's why I don't make holds, but once you have your general shape, whatever you're doing, then you want to try and clean it up as much as possible so it limits how much sand finish sanding that you have to do. So now I'm going to go in and just kind of make everything um, smooth, I'm going to touch it and feel it, make sure it feels good. And uh, then we'll take it off and we'll finish sand it. Get off. Okay. So now I'll take this off and clean it up. And so I think this is one step that I see a lot of people lacking is actually finishing them up. They'll leave a, some of this on here. And it doesn't really take that long to to clean it up with sandpaper. And so all you're doing is wherever you see a little ridge, just working that down. And so keep feeling it and you can kind of see, can you see that through the camera? Mm -hmm. So just keep on working it. Because when you go to put a clear on it, all this will show up. Isn't that right, Adam? Yes. We're in agreement. Ten minutes of sanding. <laughs> Ten minutes of sanding. <laughs> Ten minutes of sanding. <laughs> you know you don't have anything better to do.
So I'm going to call that pretty good just on that little section right there. Um, might do it a hair longer, but then you'd finish out the rest. Uh, if you noticed when I was grinding, I kind of just dished this out a little bit because I thought it might be cool. So this little uh, screw on has a little bit of variation to it. So I can use it a couple different ways. Um, as well, the grinder, just so you know what I'm using is I have uh, this setup called the Gator. And I think there's a few different brands. I think Lowe's has their own brand. Home Depot has their own brand. And you know, if you have some other uh, chain hardware store, uh, it's pro they probably have their own brand. Um, but basically you can get this backer. It's a rigid backer. And then you could get uh, different discs. This is 50 grit, you could get 36 grit, which is even more aggressive. Um, and this is a five inch. And if you notice, it hangs over off of my grinder backer about uh, half an inch, five eighths, which is kind of nice because it makes it a little more flexible. So if I do want to, to shape a little bit more, it allows me that, the ability to do that. Whereas if it's just the four inch or four and a half inch, you're gonna, you're gonna have less ability to do that because this backer is so rigid. So it's more of a, a flat sand. So I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, we'll probably do another video as far as finishing them with a little texture, but uh, for wood holds, that's good for that one. 